स्थापकाय च धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णाय ते नम वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ग्रेट डेल्यूडिंग पॉवर द इनकारनेशन coming down by covering himself with his own power the yoga maya and how the jivas are getting deluded how myself entering into the dream world the dream mind has kept already ready a dream world for me there is myself also in that the whole plan is such a wonderful plan of the mind the moment i enter into dream world i am captured i i never question is this real have i come to the real world that question never comes because i get mesmerized i get deluded the moment i go enter into that because my body exactly replica with the same nature what i understand about myself is there already created by mind this total identity with a dream body makes me accept it sir i am that total identity just like as soon as i wake up how clearly and totally i identify with this body the question never comes what happened why did i separate from this body and remain unaware of the body never comes to our mind because when i come to this world in waking state the mahamaya has kept the world in motion with my my body there a body be in my awareness whatever i am in the waking state is already kept in the there and so clear so identical of my awareness that i am is already there so i simply identify with that total identity there is no doubt of any type that i am this body so clear the moment i sleep i am separated the moment i wake up i am identified this is maya my just like in dream world i identify with dream without a question without this one like that in waking state also i am identified because the whole world is kept ready for me to experience and participate why because the when i was brought here first time i identified with some of the things without knowing because i was seeking the ananda which i was missing so i identified with something because first thing nearest thing was mind and senses the mind and senses the moment i caught um, the world the external world external awareness came into picture bahir gnana indriyas project external world so i became deluded and thought yes i have come home as if and this is my body this is my world as if i am a foreigner i have to go back to my home one day or other that i forgotten each time i am separated nature wants never to be i cannot remain identified with anything that is false for long i have to go back to my deep sleep where i am myself separating from all this with which i am identify again i project forth only because of the pending karma otherwise i would have been ananda sagara myself the karmic load and the identity with the bodily existence because of which the vasanas 
we have created and vasanas are continuing to give the momentum to come back and identify with the body so now shri ramkrishna is projecting the ishan ishan is asking what is this maya whatever master is telling master whatever you see think or hear is maya because you are identified with body you came to the waking state immediately body was ready which is exactly equal to your awareness of yourself and you could immediately without a question identify with it so this now with this body through these instruments of the nature bomb senses mind intellect and all these whatever you can perceive is maya when you enter into the dream whatever you perceive through the dream body with dream eyes and all that is dream in waking state it is maya there is no harm in chewing betel leaf eating fish smoking or rubbing your body with oil what will one achieve by renouncing all these things external things mm. the deep inside is the software what will happen by changing the hardware mm. whether you keep the hardware mm, the neat and clean or doesn't is it is covered with dust it is going to project what is inside the software shri ram krishna says uh, don't much worry about the hardware alone it is needed to some extent to reach the software to after reaching the software to most important is to destroy that software inside the hardware will go away whether you like or not the body will fall off but inner these things are the vasanas that are persisting for enjoyments and possessions kamini kanchana are the thing that there is the software inside so external things you are changing and it just is like some disease uh, you do anything you have to take the medicine inside external applications uh, giving bath this that changing the room that thing will help you have to take the medicine get rid of the disease which is inside one thing needful is renunciation of human and gold all things you can keep with you as you grow and to the extreme shri ram krishna says you need things to maintain your life don't run after that whatever is necessary nature will provide and whatever you get is only according to your karma the sukha dukha you are getting all this is according to your karma and every bit of your need is managed by the nature according to your karma and in spite of your karma hmm. even if there is no karma also she has to maintain you if she wants to keep you in this universe so worry not about that the whole thing shift your attention to destroy the software which is within that is renounce that renunciation is real the supreme renunciation uh, renunciation of kamini kanchana human and gold it is desire it is not the woman who is in the house or in the world that is to be driven away it is desire to enjoy a woman is to be destroyed you will keep you will love you serve the where there is giving the suppose a woman you see and you start giving not taking anything 
she becomes mother. If you are still higher level, if you see the spiritual existence and bow down, you are at divine level. So she becomes a Devi. So Sri Ramakrishna is asking, give, destroy that attitude. You need all things for your livelihood. You need money, you need a house, all these things. You need education. All this you cannot avoid. But don't run after it and don't say whatever your possess as yours. God has given me sustenance. This, this belongs to Him. Whether it's a vehicle or a refrigerator or a washing machine or whatever I possess, all that I possess is just, it belongs to the Lord. This awareness that it belongs to the Lord, even when it is in my custody, we call it the renunciation. Disowning these things and that renunciation where I am getting rid of the desire and running behind the world is renunciation. And householders, in that there will be total transformation of my attitude towards the world. The things will be as it is, my duties and responsibilities will be going on, but my attitude changes. I slowly move towards seeing divine everywhere. Householders should go to go into solitude now and then to practice spiritual discipline in order to cultivate devotion of God. They should renounce mentally. They should renounce mentally. Where clearly Sri Ramakrishna is mentioning, you see. But the sannyasi should renounce both mentally and physically. Externally also has to renounce and internally also has to renounce. Once I said to Keshav, how can a typhoid patient be cured if he remains in a room where pitcher of water and a jar of pickles are kept? Now and then one should live in solitude. One has to retire to solitude because the presence of the external world and all objects of my concern and responsibility and of my desires goes on shaking me and when I enter into solitude, these will not disturb me and I am at my inner freedom and this freedom makes me first time to see myself. I am seeing the entire world. In every aspect, I am seeing this external world. I have never faced, my eyes are turned outside, my ears are turned outside. God is calling from within. I am not hearing His voice because my ears are turned outward. I am not able to see Him. He is sitting within my heart but I'm, because my eyes are turned out word paranchi kani vyatrana swayambhu tasmat parang pashyati nantaratma the lord had said the senses which you have caught as myself turned outward and therefore you see outside never the inside nantaratma hmm. not inside parang pashyati Outside you see parang and pratyang. Parang is outside, pratyang is inside. Parampashati, nantaratma. But someone, somewhere, kaschidhiraha, pratyagatmana maikshata, avritta chakshuhu, amritatva michan. All senses were turned inward, outward. So I could not know who am I. In solitude, first time. 
you practice turning inward and looking at yourself i have been constantly from birth i am looking at the world outside i never had an opportunity to look at myself and whenever i saw a mirror i saw the external skin alone nothing else hmm. i started decorating that skin now in solitude i see myself independent of body who am i where have i come what is this world what am i doing all these questions appear you have to solve all these questions where i am to go after the death what is going to happen will life continue or not so all this we have to we start finding when we enter into solitude i am looking at myself so the solitude is an important part of our life and existence and this has to be done mentally in place of the household does not run away once i said to kesha about the typhoid person and pickles and water jug is kept there within the room they feel extremely thirsty and tasteless so when they find these things they with moment it they start taking a water and this when in excess the disease aggravates a devotee sir what do you think of navavidhan it seems to me like a hodgepodge of everything master some say it is a modern thing adhunika that sets me wondering then what is god of brahma samaj a new god the brahmo speak of their cult as navavidhan a new dispensation well it may be so who knows there are six systems of philosophies so perhaps it is like one of these but do you know where those who speak of the formless god make their mistake it is where they say god is formless only and that those who differ from them are wrong this is the tendency of most of the religions hmm which doesn't accept the other path as real genuine and valid hinduism is such a thing it contains all aspects and all ways in which the humans from the since the beginning of the creation when human came into existence from that time whoever has known realized and experienced god in any form in any way uh it has been is there in hinduism whether it is personal impersonal with form without form beyond form and formless all aspects of god dvaita vishishta dvaita advaita shaiva shakta whatever way you can think of god and whatever way man has realized god is there in hinduism so hinduism accepts all religions as genuine and path to the perfection the only thing difference is the hinduism accepts all others but others do not accept others here the mistake is done here that my path is right and clear is true but his path is wrong is the where we make mistake shri ram krishna is clearly pointing out here uh, like uh, shat darshana six philosophies indian philosophy this also may be a philosophy 
but that doesn't matter. If it is one of the philosophies, well, it's welcome. But where we make mistake is where I say my path alone is real and others who differ from it is unreal. Hmm. So, sir, hmm. but do you know the where these those who speak of formless God make their mistake? It is where they say that God is formless only and those who differ with them are wrong. It is not accepted. So here we see hmm, that God is something which can, which has no limitation. It is not limited. So, uh, if God is with form, it can be without form also. If it is without form, it can be with form. Because we, you see, I may say God is Advaita, Vedanta, according to one of the aspects of Vedanta. Vedanta, in Vedanta, Dvaita Vedanta also is, Shakta Vedanta also is there. Vedanta is ending. So, Bhakti schools of Vedanta, all these belong to the Bhakti school where the God is seen as the ultimate reality with the difference I and you. The subject-object relationship is maintained. So, this all aspects of... Now, we have form. I am born with seeing form. I can accept any form, anything, including my own uh, hallucinations. It is true to me. It may not be true to others. Just like this word, I am seeing a world of my own. I call a person as my brother, which none of the world accepts him to be his brother. It is my vision, it is my view, it is my understanding. It is real for me. But uh, I am seeing a world which is I am projecting according to my experiences. So, the world that we see individually differ from each other. Hmm. Like that, here uh, I am in the Vyavaharika Satya. The Vedanta, Vedanta will not have, should not. Vedanta, if it is, it may be ultimate reality. This means it's not ultimate reality, but it exists and I transcend and go is different. You are there, you were there in this world and after you realize and go also, become one with the Brahman, the world is going to continue. Shankaracharya came, he realized that he is Brahman, gave the message and went away. With his ignorance destroying, the rest of the universe is continuing. This is eternally going on. Hmm. If you say the whole world is my dream, it is false. Then when you realize, now it is my dream, I see so many people and my, when my, my dream ends, all the people of my dream will be released. They won't be there at all when I wake up. Like that, if this world is my dream alone, then with my realization, Oh, nothing must be there. The universe should not continue. Other jivas should not continue. Because it was my dream. No. You were dreaming a world of your own. You are projecting on this reality which is God. Like a screen or a white screen on which projector is projecting so many things. Now project... The screen has nothing to do, it is white, plain white. It is God. Each one is projecting is this world which you are seeing 
alone was false. When realization dawns, you will see, oh, it was all God. Nothing was there. But other stream is continuing that you have to accept. Eternally it is going on. How many sages and how many people came, realized and went, became one with the absolute existence. But the dream for the rest is continuing. So when you say uh, God is Dvaita alone and all else is false, hmm, it is doesn't apply word that I was saying was alone false. The other is seeing another false word which belongs to them. It continues. So here we see the Advaita has to accept the other things as real. The dream also is real. The waking is also because I am experiencing it. Somebody is experiencing it. The experiences cannot be denied. So we differentiate as the Paramarthika Satya, the ultimate reality. Then some things we call it as Vyavaharika Satya. In dream, uh, mirage and all this we call as Pratibhasika Satya. It is Pratibhati, it is projecting itself. It is not the dream which I saw. I saw, I experienced, but it was not there when I experienced also. But I have seen. So it is Pratibhasa. It was projected to me and I saw. Hmm. Pratibhasika Satya, Vyavaharika Satya and the ultimate, the hmm, absolute truth, the Paramarthika Satya. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastur